Well, Gator Halpern is the co-founder and president of Coral Vita, a company that grows corals to restore dying reefs. He joins me now from Freeport in the Bahamas. Thanks so much for being with us. Okay, first, knowing you've been able to actually build a business out of what you do should give us some hope. But then again, when you hear that, you know, 50% of the Great Barrier Reef coral has been lost, I mean, how much do you fear it can't come back, even though you've technically found a way to restore dead coral? Well, the short answer is that I fear it a lot. You know, these ecosystems have developed over tens, if not hundreds of millions of years, and we're seeing them wiped out by human impacts in just a few decades. This is really an existential crisis, and even through reef restoration and our ability to bring some coral back to life, the first and foremost thing that we need to do is to stop killing these ecosystems so that we can continue to benefit from the incredible values that they provide for all of life on Earth. Okay. Uh, let's, let's look at the, the, the glass is half full scenario for a second, though, if we can, before we... I mean, I know the general outlook is, is negative, because by the time we're able to if we ever can reverse somehow the warming of the ocean, it might already be at the point of no return. But so far, you have actually been able to grow a coral and replace dead corals in certain parts of the world. Tell us where you've seen you know, the most recovery that's given you the most reason to be optimistic. So there are great reasons for hope. Here at Coral Vita, we create high-tech land-based coral farms where we can actually accelerate coral growth rates by up to 50 times how fast they grow in nature. We can breed corals together and make them more resilient against the warming and acidifying oceans that threaten their survival. And then we can scuba dive down and actually replant degraded reefs and see these ecosystems come back to life. Once you put the coral back on the reef, the animals, the fish start coming back and they do start thriving again. And so we are able to use reef restoration as a tool to sustain reefs and to bring them back to life. But in no way is it a silver bullet that will work without comprehensive climate change action. So while we're working to reverse climate destabilization and stabilize the ocean ecosystems, we also need to be actively working to restore those ecosystems and keep them alive while we address the, the greater threat of climate change. Right. So aside from, you know, the big issues that an individual, you know, like you or, you or I can't really control, I mean, the massive industrial pollution that keeps the global temperature warming and the oceans therefore warming, are there any things that, you know, we as individuals can actually do to help the ocean ecosystem? Well, I'd like to have uh, thank you for having me on today because I think awareness is one of the most important things that we can do. And just communicating about these issues with our neighbors, our community members, and our students, if you're a school teacher, so that there's a better understanding of how important these issues are, is essential for us to be able to address those large scale issues. And at the individual level, we really need to go out there and vote for politicians and parties that support climate change action. And obviously, it's a very important time with the elections coming up in the United States and around the world that uh, we need to stand up and say that we care about serious climate action right now so that we can make a difference and sustain these ecosystems for generations to come. You know, just a quick question as well, because, I mean, when we look at the ocean ecosystem, we're really talking about the coral. But as I mentioned in our read there, that coral supports a whole additional chain of animal life. Uh, so what happens to that life when that coral dies? Does it die or does it move elsewhere? I mean, are we, in, are we killing not just the coral ecosystem, but an entire animal system as well uh, when we let this coral bleach and, and ex go extinct? That's a great point. Yeah, so coral reefs are some of the most magical ecosystems in the world. They're one of the most biodiverse habitats supporting actually up to a third of all marine life that's found in coral reefs. Uh, they're basically like the rainforests of the ocean. So if we're killing a coral reef, it's similar to us clear-cutting and killing a forest. 
and all of the animals that are living in that forest are subject to dying if you kill all the trees. It's the same thing in a coral reef. When all the coral die, most of the fish and the animals that depend upon them, which are millions and millions of ocean species, are also at risk of being extinct. Okay, we're gonna have to leave it there. Uh, Gator Halpern, thank you really so much for joining us from the Bahamas, we, we appreciate it.